Here we are on a beautiful day in the Chamonix Valley, and I am with my dear friend, Dennis O'Brien, who introduced me to Vipassana meditation a number of years ago. Dennis is a very talented and inspiring ski teacher, and I've never heard anyone teach the way you teach. What, yeah. what is it about your meditation practice that informs your ski teaching? Well, thank you, first of all. Mm -hmm. um, I love skiing. That's the basic of my transmitting of the knowledge that I've gained over a lifetime of skiing. And what I believe I'm really trying to get over is the joy that I get out of skiing and allow other people to access that. And that joy that I get comes, A, from being in a very beautiful place... Secondly, for me personally, it's the speed that you can access safely on skis, which is thrilling. And thirdly is the interaction of the human body with a whole mountain, the whole side of a mountain. And those three elements are joyful. And I see people getting really excited when they're out skiing with you because... A lot of it is your embodiment, just your sheer passion that really inspires people. And then you get them really in touch with their bodies, don't you, and their senses. What I've found is that people are not that aware of their bodies. In day-to-day -day life, they are not thinking in the moment, and they are not thinking about the sensations that are coming out of their bodies. And in skiing, to be an expert skier, you have to have that what I call the skier's brain is in the feet. And when you watch really expert skiers, they make it look very easy because they are very efficient. They're wasting the least amount of personal energy possible. That means they have to be centered inside themselves. They have to be mindful of where they're balancing, where they're pressuring and what they're sensing. Mm. And when you get to that stage, you start to flow you start to dance with the energies that are around you. And that's when it becomes beautiful. Yeah. And when I see when yeah. I see you ski, it doesn't look as if much is happening, but you are going so fast. <laughs> and you're so it, in balance and in tune. And uh, and it, it's a beautiful thing, a beautiful thing to watch. Thank and you. it's what it's just wonderful that you get people into their bodies. Yes. In order to and then their body tells them. Skiing's a transformative, it has a potential to be a transformationary sport. Yeah. And um, yeah. I've taught people to ski who have now, they've changed their whole lives because of skiing. And your competition skiing? Oh, I, um, I like speed. Most Irish boys like speed. And um, so I got into quite fast skiing. I did a lot of speed skiing. I did a lot of downhill, a lot of super G. I traveled around the world racing. <clears throat> and it was great, a lot of stress, and eventually that's why I gave it up. I was all alone and doing big stuff and no one to share it with, so I got a bit burnt out, so I stopped. Uh, then I became a French ski instructor, and because I've done so many things in the competition side of skiing, now I'm quite relaxed. I don't have to prove anything to myself anymore. So what I really enjoy is teaching other people to get the same joy and laughter out of it. As I do. Wonderful, mm. wonderful. Well, lucky them, lucky us. We've had many a ski lesson over the phone, haven't we? And Dennis gets me to really feel the detail of the different forces as the as the turn emerges. It's really um, an ever, uh, well, ever evolving. Yes, it never stops. It's never stop, no, at any level. One is always able to get more in touch with body with the turn with the moment and your yeah, yeah. your path is is very mindful yes it's very and very it's an inner yes almost journey. all of my work is done one-to-one um, -one. um and i don't believe i teach two lessons the same so you really you really tune into your client you really tune into the moment and yes. you're teaching very much from the world of the senses yes very much so wonderful Thank you. And thank you. And thank you for this beautiful day. There's the Drew and beyond. I don't know if we can see. 
Baik, Ibu. Baik, Ibu. Baik, Ibu. Thanks, Dennis. Thank you, Alison. Here we are underneath the Aigui du Midi for our mindfulness meditation. And I encourage you to find a nice... I'm trying to balance this in somebody's potager. So find yourself a nice quiet spot for a short mindfulness meditation. Setting the intention to be kind and compassionate and closing our eyes to come into the moment few minutes of mindfulness of the breath. Connecting with the body sitting. Allowing our attention to sink into the contact that we make floor or the cushion. Sensing the lower part of the body pressing downwards. And the upper part of the body rising upwards. Entering the world of the senses. So feeling the body rather than thinking about it. Mm. Feeling the feet perhaps. A wonderful preparation for doing some mindful skiing really get in touch with the feet. Just noticing any physical sensations that might be there. Tingling, touch, contact with the sock, with the air. Sensing the body sitting, knowing it's quite normal for the mind to wander. That's what minds do best. Just coming back to sensing this moment. We have bothersome thoughts. Just coming back to the body time and again will help us to break the cycle of rumination. And then the breath. Feeling the ribs moving, perhaps. Feeling the air entering and leaving the lungs. Picking up the detail. periods of flow, 
Jesus is in between. Feeling the speed and the volume of the breath. Without needing to change anything. Just being the kindly observer. As we develop this sensitivity, we know where we are, we know how we are. in the body in this moment means we're living life as it unfolds. An approach we can take into our day-to-day -day lives and into any activity into any activity you choose to undertake maybe sliding down the mountain very fast like this and being with each moment each second each physical sensation Allowing us to be present and to master the moment. Being fully in touch with our body, our experience of the moment. Feeling And with the last two breaths, using the moment with extra kindness, extra awareness of being in the body these sensations in this moment. And when we're ready, open our eyes. Or we might like to have a little stretch. Or you. Hmm. So thank you for joining me today. And I'll leave you with the beautiful mountains.